All right, three, two, and one. We're at Dutch Fork, guys. They get ready for Sumter on Saturday at williams Bryce Stadium state championship game. And you know what I found? Gamecock connection out here. <laughs> I mean, you can, I'm telling you, where are they now? Well, they're right here coaching at Dutch Fork. Ike Harris, we got Kevin Hendricks. He trying to hide in the back, K.Y., <laughs> yeah. Mr. Offing, Anthony Smith, and me. Who was not coaching because you guys knocked me out. And I'm going to tell you, I wasn't, I wasn't happy about that game. Well, you didn't have enough of us over. That's all it was. <laughs> well, I, are you offensive line coach? Yes, sir. I'm, uh, me and Coach Tillerson, we help out. And uh, Coach Hanker, he played here about two years ago. Now, did the young Harris, I saw that your son, too? No, uh, nope. He's actually in the family, though, but uh, not my son. All right. And I saw Chief. Now, you defensive ends? Uh, defensive end coach. Uh, came over here from Lexington. And uh, what a great group of guys. And then to be here with the uh, former players and stuff, and uh, me and Ant was laughing yesterday, and I come in, I said, Ant, until we got here, we didn't take this uh, program up a notch, and the uh, old other coach, J.W., said, oh, now we're going to have to hear that, but it's good to see all these guys and be with them and, and, and know that, you know, we know the trials and tribulations where a lot of other coaching staffs doesn't have that, that element of what we got, mm -hmm. and I think you can see that through these kids and, and who coaches who and what you get out of them, and and that's basically what we're here for, to see that true kid come out that, that we know's there. Yeah. And, and, and it's a great atmosphere to be here in it with these guys. Now, K. Watt, you use a fullback at, at Carolina. Now you're dealing with the tight ends, and I've talked to Coach Knox, and you guys use, utilize a lot of 12 and 13 personnel, a lot of big tight ends. Yes, sir. I have a kid, Austin Ruger, really good guy who's developed. He was, in fact, he played offensive line uh, last couple of years, and now he's a tight end. And, uh, K.J. Williams, they are pretty much the cornerstone of the offense. We run a lot of uh, wing set, a lot of motion. We run behind those two. And they've done a real good job. They really stepped up. And uh, we always tell them, we put it on those two seniors, uh, put them on their shoulders and just let them block and be be the dominant forces that they are. Yeah, good looking group and can block and catch them. And now, Mr. Offing, I understand that you um the popo on campus, <laughs> and, and so you lock people up, and you coach your, coach your linebacker. Yeah, he carries man, three sets of hands. You got no taste yeah, on Yeah, I got, I got some good group of kids. Uh, Nick Lust, uh, he's the kind of leader out there. Uh, Walter Robinson, and also uh, Khalil is another senior that we have. So we're just trying to let them run this, this game, let them have fun. And, you know, and come out um, victory this, this, this time. And old school, lastly, right. not least. <laughs> the oldest of the bunch. Uh, oldest of all that's of us. Right, right, yeah. Coaching the running back, Anthony Smith. Been around a long time. Used to do it big time at Carolina. And you got a good back of your own, over 2,000 yards, Matt Coburn. Yeah, I, you know, it's been a, a wonderful experience to coach Matt. And uh, like I said, it's like, like Chief was saying, it's a reunion around here because you work with these old guys that you played with once before. You know, just kind of enjoy, have fun, and, you know, and, talk about Matt a little bit, you know, Matt, the only thing I just taught him was confidence. Mm -hmm. His natural ability came in. I just try to keep him pumped up, keep the confidence in him and just do what he does, you know, mm -hmm. and, and so far that's been a good thing for us. And I enjoy coaching. I coach Knotts, put the plan together. And my job is just to make sure that Matt is ready to play on Friday nights. Yeah, I think it's a great story. It's one reason I wanted to come out here. Five Gamecocks, five former Gamecocks coaching on this staff, guys, getting it done. Uh, a lot of good football players. I know it means a lot to these young kids to be uh, taught, hearing from these guys who did it at the highest level. Saturday at Gamecock Stadium, the Gamecocks undefeated uh, in the 2013. And you guys, I said this to Coach Kelly for something as we did a story. They said they go the Gamecocks or something. They're gonna try to keep it undefeated. So it's gonna be a it's gonna be a showdown, man. I'm looking forward to a knockdown drag out. And you see these guys come on out back at Williams Bryce Stadium, not playing anymore, as you can see, as it took Ike 10 minutes to get down the hill, but they will be standing on the sideline coaching. Brian, back to you for Watch Fox Sports. Go Foxes. Go Foxes. You got it.